Content Marketing is King. If you want to reach a larger audience with your Shopware 6 store, then I want to reduce you to our blog plugin. In this tutorial, I will set up a complete blog so you can create blog posts as soon as tomorrow. Have fun! Welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's Alexander from Shop Studio and let's start with a blog setup. Here you can see our plugin for Shopware 6. It's called Blog Magazine. And with this plugin, it's possible to set up a complete blog. It's for example, this is the blog post overview, and this is one a detail page, or rather a blog post, some content. You, for example, can add videos or texts. You can write comments. You can, of course, structure all your blog posts and their administrations. And this tool is very mighty because it's similar to products. You can have different sales channels. You can optimize for SEO, of course. You can have different content modules and much more. And of course, this is a paid plugin, but you have to add it to the shopping cart and pay for it. But do not forget to claim your trial month uh, because you know the first month is always for free. I'm now located in the Shopware 6 administration. And the first thing we have to do is to go to my extensions and I've already bought the plugin, uh, thus I can see it here. And now we have to click on install app. The app is now installed, but not activated. So the next important step is to click here. Now the plugin is fully activated. You can see in the administration that we have some uh, new entries in the menu here under catalogs. We can, for example, um, create blog posts and we can view and approve our blog comments. Let's get started with creating the first blog post. We have to click here, of course. And now we see our overview and we can see that no blog posts are found because we have uh, not created them, of course. And to create a new post, we have to click here on the button Add Post. The next step is to create a title. The description is optional here. Of course, you can enter something. It makes sense to activate this blog post and we can of course schedule it, but this is not important for now. So only the title is required. We click on save and we have basically created our first blog post. Now you can see that two new tabs have appeared. One is for the main content. So basically you, we can add the content later of a blog post. And the other one is for example for properties. So we can enrich the search for blog posts in the overview page. For example, we can say we want to search for all blog posts made in the year 2018, for example. So we can create a property here similar to uh, products themselves, like here. We leave it for now with a blog post. We come later to this uh, screen again. Now we have to go to the shopping experiences because we have to create an overview page so we can show it here in the navigation, for example, blog. We go to content shopping experiences and now we create a new layout. Um, we need a shop page here, for example, full width and let's name it blog. Now we can, of course, add new CMS uh, blocks and elements and we click on this plus symbol here. And now we can see all our elements and we have to change the block category to block. We can see two CMS elements. We can see the blog post listing and the blog post slider. For the listing page, we of course need the blog post listing. And if you want, for example, we can click here on settings to adjust, for example, the layout. Maybe you want to have a standard or minimal layout, or sometimes people like to have a, like a list not a grid system, so it's possible too with one of the newest updates. We can, for example, show the sorting or maybe increase or decrease the number of blog posts per page, but we leave it with the defaults. Now we click on save and now we have created a new CMS page layout. The next step is to go to the catalogs again, but now to categories and we have to create a new one. We click here on new subcategory we name it block, click again on the new category. We set it to active 
And now the most important part is to choose a layout. So we change the layout from the default listing layout to the block. And we click on save. If we take a look on the storefront, we can see that a new category has appeared. And we click on this new block category and we can see no blog posts found. The CMS module of CMS element is working because it is showing that no blog posts um, were found. The reason why we can't see our blog posts is similar to products themselves. We have to assign it to the sales channel. So we go to catalogs to blog posts. Now we see the blog post overview in the administration. We click on our new recreated blog post, travel to front, and we go down. And the first thing we have to do is to select the sales channel. It's basically here and we assign it to storefront. Another important thing I have forgotten is that we have to set the main category or the categories. One of uh, both is important. The category is really the assignment for the categories here and the main category is for SEO reason to show the correct schema.org snippet. We assign both to um, block and block and click now on save and we can see here that the blog post is appearing. We click here now on travel to France. We see that it's empty. This is because we have to add new content. And to add new content, we have to click on the content tab here in the administration. And now we can add new content, choose the content type. For example, we can have a text or image or notice, product list, YouTube video, FAQ text. In this case, we just add a simple text and maybe we want to add Let's say notice, the headline is my notice, very creative. We can, for example, change a variant, let's say from info to maybe warning, the alignment, you can hide the icon. Okay, so we have added two content pieces. We click on save, refresh the page in the storefront, and now we can see this is a text and my notice a text again. And of course, we can add all the content pieces here. If we want, we can also translate the content pieces here. For example, from English to this is German. And of course, it's always good to have multiple languages for your blog post so you can attract a larger audience or maybe find new customers. I have uploaded an image with this mountains here. And now I click on save. I refresh the page and I can see the mountain again and even on the blog post listing in the storefront. The next recommended step is to fill out the SEO fields. For example, we have the meta title here, the meta description and the SEO keywords. But I think the SEO keywords are not that important anymore in the year 2022. But meta title and meta description are. If you want, we can also change the SEO URL. For example, we can um, select the storefront set channel and now we can see maybe that this URL is a bit weird because it's auto-generated. We have this prefix here. This comes from the plugin, but you can overwrite it as you can see it here. And this is based on the category, which is block. And this is the name of a blog post. In our case, maybe we can, for example, say we want to have lowercase. And we just remove the duplicate block word. And now we click on save. And if we go back to the blog post listing and check the link, we can see that we have adjusted the URL. And if you go to the source of the um, web page to check the meta description, we can also see, hopefully here under description, this is a description. And the title is located here. Travel to France the best blog posts about traveling. Some more tips from my side. We can, for example, schedule blog posts too. For example, we click here on scheduled. And for example, we can set a future date, maybe choose the 1st June 2022. This is possible. So the blog post is not visible until the 1st June 2022. 
Of course, we can add the alpha too. Currently, it's only used for the schema.org markup, but there will be soon a bigger update regarding the authors and it will be more sophisticated then. Another cool feature is the estimated reading time in minutes. Let's say maybe that the blog post takes about 10 minutes to read. We click now on save and if we check the blog post listing, we can see reading time 10 minutes and here too, reading time 10 minutes. And the last tip for today is it's even possible to um, extend the search so that your customers can search for products and blog posts within this search here. But for example, if I enter travel to France, um, we can see that no results have been found. And this is because extending the search is a separate plugin. If we go back to the Shopware store, um, we search for advanced search and advanced search block and recipes. This is a free plugin, so it makes sense to install it. For example, if you're losing the blog plugin or maybe a recipes plugin, and with this plugin, it's possible to extend the search uh, similar to this image here. For example, we have the products here, and now on the right side, the blog post, and if you have a recipes plugin, um, you can also see the recipes here. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel or leave a comment or like below. And as always, we see us in the next tutorial. Bye.